Mr. Muscovici, do you think there's a systemic risk now for uh, Italian banks that could spread to Europe? I'm, I'm confident that uh, the Italian authorities have the uh, means and capacity to, to face this uh, situation. Italy is a strong country, uh, it's a reliable uh, country, uh, there are also reliable uh, uh, political appointees such as Mr. Piacalo Padoan is not with us today because uh, he's uh, in Italy for the resignation of the cabinet. And I think that, uh, well, it's, it's a referendum. It's a referendum in Italian politics, on the, the Italian constitution. Mr. Renzi uh, is, uh, was, because he's going to resign a strong prime minister who, who led important reforms as well economically, um, politically, uh, socially. But I'm, I'm confident that Italy has the means to, to address this uh, situation. But the, is the European Union uh, ready to step in in case, in case of a final, new financial crisis? Uh, no, I'm not going to comment on the uh, what-if situation. Uh, again, I'm confident that there will be no uh, such uh, crisis. Uh, and uh, I'm confident that we have the means to, to, to resist to any kind of, uh, of political shock in Europe. Do you think the EU put too much pressure on uh, Renzi in terms of deficit targets that led to this anti-EU uh, sentiment? No, I, I don't think so, because we were always uh, understanding of the fact that uh, Italy uh, suffered, uh, for example, from earthquakes that were Italy is in the uh, front line for the refugees and we were uh, closing the gap. So no, I don't think it played a role. Uh, this is not the anti-Europe vote, an anti-EU vote. And uh, the Europeans are showing every day that they are confident in their EU. If I look at another election this weekend, uh, I'm very satisfied uh, that Mr. Van der Bellen was elected uh, President of Austria. We, you could have had uh, in Austria the first uh, president coming from the far right uh, since World War II. Uh, the Austrians avoided that and they showed that there is no fatality for populism and that the extremism right is not irresistible. And what is right for Austria is also right for the rest of the countries in Europe. The Eurozone is now much stronger than it used to be and we are capable to face uh, those situations. Commissioner, do you think that the, the outcome